Hey, what's up guys, and thanks for tuning into the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Yamcha from Dragon Ball Z. But before we get started, if you haven't yet already done so, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on an awesome review. Now, starting off with the box, here we see that there's no figure inside, and just like the previous review with uh, Tien, I actually had this figure for a while now. You can see it's 2017. So, uh, we got a nice blue, almost... I don't know how to describe this color. It's very, it's like a purplish blue. Uh, maybe I'm just stupid at this point, but uh, it'll come to me later on. We've got a nice kind of purplish blue background. Uh, here we got Yamcha in his classic fighting pose. Uh, on the front here, we have Yamcha screaming. We see Yamcha on the side, Yamcha. It is a P-Banda exclusive, sadly. Uh, we see Yamcha here, the exact same pose as the front. Here we see Yamcha in a few poses. And yes, it does include his classic getting killed pose, which is sad, but that's there. Uh, bottom we already saw, on the back here, we got your product shots and some descriptions, and yes, there is a Cyberman that is included, which I will show you in a second. So, that's it for the box, let's get that out of the way. And here is Yamcha. Now, very, very nice. Um, you can see starting off with the face here, we got some nice scars, which is typical for Yamcha. He always has scars on his face. Even back in Dragon Ball, we got a nice long hair. I know people have been, uh, there's third parties out there that have been making um, short haired versions, I think uh, Demoniacal Fit, short haired versions of Yamcha, which has like a buzz cut. Um, that is kind of cool, but I do believe that Bandai itself is making a short haired version of uh, Yamcha. Similar to how um, Ten here got an updated version, uh, I believe that Yamcha will get an updated version soon as well. So here we see the turtle sign, Kame symbol here. We do have some shading on his chest as well as a little bit on his legs, but it's not that um, prevalent. A little bit on his butt as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the painting. Uh, head is on a ball joint, base of the neck is on a ball joint. Uh, the hair, surprisingly, is actually on a ball hinge, so we can kind of swivel side to side, move up, move down, and it's really, really cool. And we do see the big turtle hermit sign on the back as well, I totally forgot about that. Um, arms can go all the way around. There is a butterfly joint. You know, kind of just pull it out a little bit here. It does kind of break up the sculpt, sadly. And we have a hinge that goes up to 90. You do want to make sure that this uh, arm guard doesn't pop off. So right to about there. And then this is on a ball joint as well that attaches to the back. So we can kind of move out of the way. Uh, we get a rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbow, which is a little better than what we got with Tien last time. And we got a ball hinge at the wrist, getting these arms out of the way. We have a ab crunch that goes forward this much and back that much, which is not a lot. Uh, ball joint into the torso as well as ball joint at the waist. This belt piece is on a swivel that can swivel all the way around. Let's get it up for now. Uh, legs kick forward that far, kick back that far, which is really, really nice. Can do the splits. I would say a little better than what Tien could do last time. Get thigh rotation here, double bend at the knee. Again, better articulation than Tien. A double jointed ankle as well as a toe bend that bends up to about there. So very good articulation for an SH figure arts figure, but of course I expect nothing less. So let's bring this guy back here and let's take a look at some of the accessories that come with this guy. So starting off with hands, he has the two fists that are on him right there. He does have two open palm hands for blasting energy. He has two claw hands, and he has two classic Kame School teaching battle hands. So that is that. In terms of the faces, we have a stern face on him right there. We do have a big old smirk, typical Yamcha. We have a slight kind of worried face. He's gritting his teeth. And we have a scream. He's blasting energy or he's going to get killed, something like that. And yeah, to change the face is very simple. Literally just pop off the front hair piece if it wants to come off. It's been in storage for a while. So there we go. Just pop that off just like that. Very easy. 
pop the face off come on just like that and let's give them a smirk take these two pegs plug them into the bottom set of holes just like so take the hair piece plug it back on here we have Yamcha up to no good so yeah that's that and of course the last accessory which we did see on the box is this Cyberman now very very nicely sculpted you can see the the ribbed detail on the arms and legs. We got a nice kind of armor here on the body, all the veins on the top of the head. Face is decently painted. We see red eyes with black pupils and a mouth here. And the only other paint I would say, um, the, the hands and feet are painted as well as the claws. So that is that. Now in terms of articulation, there is a little bit of articulation, uh, better than Chaozu, which we got with Tian, but uh, the head is on a swivel, it's not on a ball joint, just on a swivel. Hands are on a swivel, it can pretty much go all the way around for this one, same with the other one. Uh, I believe they're on swivels? Yeah, they're on swivels. So swivel for the arms and then for the head as well, there's no articulation into the legs, so that's that. And just a little something as I was looking at product shots, is that the right hand of the Cyberman can actually pop off. So you can see that, it's actually really, really cool. Because there was a shot that I saw that uh, had Yamcha that was dead. Of course, dead Yamcha, the meme. Uh, basically, he was lying on the ground and there was a hand right there. So I was like, wait, what? So I looked at the figure and then I looked at this hand and then I realized that it came off. So that's actually really, really cool. You can recreate one of the scenes where Yamcha gets killed. And you can have it seem like as if the Cyberman blew up and uh, there's a piece of Cyberman right next to his body. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for these guys. It's wobbling, wobbling, wobbling. Uh, so let's get some comparisons going. So here we have Yamcha next to Tien. These guys are actually fairly similar in height. I always thought he was the same height as Goku, which he is not. We'll see in a second. And here is the original Chaozu that we got. Let's just put Chaozu here. Now, the more I think about it, the more I feel like these two actually came out together. And this is technically their um, premium Bandai, I don't know, bonus, because it comes with a smaller figure. And other than that, the accessories really aren't that um, exciting. So there is that. Here is the new Tien and the new Chaozu. And of course, here we have Goku, which if I put him here, you clearly see that he's a little shorter than uh, Yamcha as well as Tien. So yeah, that's pretty much it for comparisons, getting these guys out of the way. So some final thoughts on this figure. I think this is a very, very good figure, uh, with the exception of the Cybermen. Uh, other than that, the accessories are pretty underwhelming. I do love, like I said, some of the shading that's on these. I do wish that some of the newer figures, uh, newer SHV guards, Dragon Ball figures that we're getting now, had some of these shadings. Um, but I really do appreciate when there's more kind of texture and perspective um, depth almost to these figures. So paint is very nice. And of course, the Cybermen, very, very nice accessory. That comes with the sets, because like I said, other than this, if this wasn't here, he would not be worth a P-Bandai exclusive figure. So yeah, that's my review of the SH Figure Arts Yamcha from Dragon Ball Z. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.